So yeah, it's telling us what to do. Throw the alien out. Classic Super Mario 64. Ha! The airlock is what you want to be aiming for, idiot. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm just not sh really sure how the throwing physics work. You're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> Yeah, that's our boss music, that, that, uh, speaker. Yeah, not very good at this. Ouch. Like, we know what to do, we're just not very good at doing it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There, so we should have a good shot. hard to aim these controls. It was better in Mario 64. Okay, I think we need to wait until he's, you know, not touching the ground. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna let him kill me. Yeah, game over. I 
Like, I was trying to hold the stick in one direction to see if that would work, and like it did in Batman, but I think I just gotta keep whirling it. It takes forever until he's off the ground. Sure, I can't just hold it in one direction? No, I don't think I can. Ugh, okay, this is actually starting to hurt. No, Mario didn't have to swing for this long. I guess not. part is you gotta do this three times like always Oh uh, yeah, he's a kind of knows what we're up to, and he's being cheap like that. Wow, now he's even more resistant. I don't understand these mechanics. Okay, first hit done. Obviously, we can't defeat him that fast. So yeah, now he's actually dodging. And we gotta start from the beginning.
Okay, that's what we get. We have to duck when he tries to bite. And then he'll hurt his he'll hurt his teeth, and then we can grab him. Now we have to throw him out the airlock. The keys are marking, throw the alien out and shut the bloody door. You're not very good at this, are you? Okay, so we basically just defend again. And... Okay, final hit. Alright, we're right there. Can we do this? Goodbye, Heinrich! And he's back! Oh, uh, uh, the game froze. Hello. Right, yeah. Hello. Right. Here's the plan. I won't tell anyone that there's been a lockup, quite a bad one at that, left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know, help me out with this guy here. What do you think? Uh, okay. Hmm. Now, uh, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. That's better. How's that? Um, Weapons, maybe? No problem. Whoa! Let's see now. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. What about... Oh. 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 Yeah. That should do it. The black shoe. It would have been nice if we actually got to fight Heinrich with the sword, but... Oh well. So yeah, final boss defeated. Yep. It's Frankie! That's what his uh, voice sounds like. No, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I, uh, oh. Oh, no, I forgot to... I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, no. Oh, broke him up. 
He's alive. Yeah, these guys too. You know what's anyone in the game that has survived? Girls. And that's the end of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. His girlfriend is dead, and he's not allowed to go home. So, yeah. Putting all the mature humor aside, it's actually pretty... It's actually a pretty dramatic game. It's a great game, has awesome graphics, Great puzzles and gameplay. And yeah, it's really just. It's, it's really depressing. The story of a squirrel that gets hung over, wanders into a strange country, and gets involved in a lot of deaths. And in the end, he's the king. And yeah. King Malcolm, right? No, he doesn't even want it. So yeah, it's pretty... It's most the, uh, the last great game Wearware Wear made, unless you count Star Fox Adventures and the GBA games. I guess it's kind of a dramatic and to their series. Well, the N64 series at least. I kind of wish the game went on a bit longer. It the, the was uh, still good in its own right. Like the, had a uh, good voice acting. 
and the characters have very good personalities and kind of like Conker's interactions with them. Even Conker doesn't realize all those people, they still care about him. He still has friends. Like Rodent and Frankie, they helped him against bosses. Um, and the Cog Ladies, well the Cog Ladies are just... Cog Ladies and the, the Paint Dudes are just assholes. But, uh, and the, the, the Rat's just kind of stupid, but... Those other two, yeah, those are his buddies. And what about the, uh, the little T-Rex? I guess that can... I guess he couldn't be here, otherwise he'd just get eaten. It's a real crazy, dramatic change this game goes from. So, why did it be? Um, scotch. Single malt. Stay side. At least he's allowed to come to the bar. A man of taste. That looks like the general. Whoa, whoa, that cowboy. Keep it coming. Oh, leave the pump. Yeah. Looking a bit down. What's the matter? Ugh. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I guess drink best. Now he's hung over again. He's gonna wander on a new adventure. So yeah. It's a real dramatic change this game goes from. Like in the daytime, you have catching music and you go on fun adventures, then it turns night and you get mixed up in a war, and you fight zombies and then your girlfriend dies. So just crazy. So yeah, back at the bar, there's the uh, the other war buddies, and there's one of the fire monsters, because you couldn't even kill the last two. And there's Greg, yeah. There's kind of Weasel Band. That one kind of looks like Don Weasel. But... Let's look at the list of chapters, and yeah, there's Kazooie's head again. Hungover, there's Wendy. Basically if you um if you select these, you get to play those you get to play those parts of the game again, starting from the cutscenes. I tried it once. I don't I don't, rem I don't know if you can play beyond those parts of the game or if it just brings you back here or something. I don't really I don't really know how this works. And here's Bat's Tower. I don't get why Bats Tower comes before Barn Boys. Like, can you actually go here before Barn Boys? And Soprano. I guess um, Poop Mountain is called Soprano, but Poop Mountain just this sounds just kind of better. And Bugga Bugga, I guess that's the caveman world. I call it, I'll just call it Rock Solid. And here's Spooky, yeah. Spooky, probably, is probably my least favorite world. Well, I don't know. I mean, I like the, I like the premise of Spooky, it's just it feels really short. I mean, it's annoying. I mean, that one section is tedious, but all in all, it's really short. And here's It's War. And finally, we got The Heist. I wonder what options are like. You cheated back! 
Uh, I don't know any cheats. I guess these are things you have to look up, kind of like in um, Banjo Tooie. You can look up the game breaking cheats. See ya! You cheated back! See ya! And I guess there you can just change the music, and I don't really do much. I don't know what multiplayer is like. What's this one? I'm really curious, actually. What's this temple? Well, uh, apparently you can... I just want to choose that. I've never seen the multiplayer for this. Yeah, it doesn't feel exciting. Uh, the thing, yeah, the thing is, it doesn't really matter if you collect all. I don't think it even matters if you collect all of the uh, the minor caches. Like throughout what throughout the game, cause no matter what, you're bound to have enough in order to um progress. Like okay, wise guys, here's the score. Okay, we get a cutscene on this. My way, or he's a dead mortal. Way, take your pick. There ain't no more rules, right? We are robbing the Federal Reserve Bank at 0830 hours. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Here's the joint. You'll notice it's not very well guarded. Yeah. Take four of the doors, one each. Here are your names. Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, Mr. Yellow, and Mr. Green. You could have called the last one some different, just the get toy the weapon, with us. Get the money, preferably both. To get your ashes out of there. Okay. Let's go to work. It's like you really didn't have to grab all the cash. Like, I, like, um, like doing that dogfish mission, you would have got that triple cash, and you had, and you had to complete the Queen Bee's mission and to get the quadruple cash. So. Didn't really. I don't think it even matters. Oh, I died. Curious mini games, though. I don't really care for them. But, yeah. So, this has been Conker's Bad Fur Day. Um. And yeah, if you come back to the main game, uh, I get looks like you'll just have to restart the final boss. If you wanna, if you wanna play the other levels, you have to go to chapter mode, or you can just play the game over again. Yeah, it's not really, yeah, cause like, it's not like the Banjo series where you can get abilities, backtrack to other levels, and you can just and you can choose between missions. This game. Pretty much has a set storyline, and each mission will lead into the next. It's a really cool gimmick. I really love how they structured this game's story. Like, even if it's a funny story, it's got a cool story structure. Yeah, that's, that's what I like about it. Um, but yeah. Hopefully next time we'll get Banjo-Kazooie up and running, and when we do, we'll play that. Yay! So... I'll see you guys later.